Hello and welcome to the third Chompy the Chupacabra video. I, c I can't remember. I can't count that high. I think it's the third. I don't know. Welcome to a Chompy the Chupacabra video. Today we're playing more or less mono red burn on uh, arena. This is for the treasure draft or treasure constructed. Uh, so basically for treasure constructed it's the same as a standard, but you get a treasure at the beginning of your upkeep on every, each one of your turns. And each player gets this. So this allows us to play more than one color with only mountains. As long as we don't go too overboard on that, so we're splashing a few other colors in our mono red list. It's fairly typical mono red. You have Fanatical Firebrand, Gita Love Runner Shock, uh... Lightning Strike, Vashino Pyromancer, Runaway Steamkin, Light Up the Stage, Skewer the Critics, Wizard Lightning, and Experimental Frenzy. Oh, and Collision's fairly normal too. And only 14 mountains because the treasure is basically an extra land every turn, or you can save them up, but that normally does not happen. Um, but then we also have some spicy cards that are specific to this draft. Flame of Keld is cool. That's more of a mono red card, actually. That's not specific to this draft, but healing grace. Mono red's like a huge. It's the biggest deck that you normally play against, so being able to gain six life is really nice. It's only a one of it's a silver bullet, but it's still nice to have in there somewhere. Um, drill bit is really nice when you play against like the really go big decks that rather than there's two types of the decks there's mono red and then there's the other decks that are trying to play bigger stuff that's just bigger and better than mono red that outclasses everything they're doing and get it out fast because it can save up treasures so drill bits really nice against that because it's basically thought sees in this deck and then we also have inspiring cleric which is nice it's a 3-2 body for 3 while also saving your butt against mono red and it's nice against uh, some of the mono green stompy decks as well. We forgot to change our profile thingy mobber. Our opponent goes first. That's annoying. This is a very keepable hand. Turn one, runaway steamkin. It often gets killed, but when it doesn't, you can just barf out your entire hand, which is really nice. Turn one, steamkin with our mountain and our treasure. Turn two. Probably Lava Runner Shock. Turn 3. Hopefully we'll have a Mountain by then. Actually we don't need one. Vashino Pyromancer. Do damage to our opponent to spectacle this. Um, get rid of the counters on that. And then we can skewer something. And probably play Inspiring. Play like this is a very solid hand. Let's see what our opponent's playing. Probably Mono Red. Oh interesting. Red White. And tapped. Okay. That, that's not what I was expecting. Let's see if they do anything with the treasure. I don't think they would. If they have a one drop, it's much better to pay two life and then have a mana later on. Uh, Runaway Steamkin, hope for the best. Light up the stage was a really good draw. This is probably getting shocked or something. If they have removal, they have to spend it. Because otherwise... We're gonna go out of control a little bit. Ooh, is this like a Jessica control deck? Cool. So now we have to watch out for her. They could easily have counter spells. Oh, mountain, okay. That makes life easier. So, Gito Lava Runner. This is where the fun begins. Okay. Uh, shock you. Come on. One time. No counter spells. Okay, so, if they don't have a counterspell, this is the beginning of the end. Come on, no counterspell. No counterspell. No counterspell. Ha! Got there. Okay. Sweet. So now we have all the mana in the world. We don't have three one drops, so we can't do this again. We're going to use our mana wisely then. Vashino Pyromancer. And then skewer the critics while it's still 
spectacled, I think, because we can't guarantee that we're going to have spectacle next turn. But that means we have to use both of these next turn or we're getting rid of our card draw, but I think that's okay. I think we should be able to do that. Skewer our opponent. Smothering Tyler. <laughs> That's not doing anything here. Yeah, sure, have a treasure. I think. Wait, do we want to pay two? Yeah, we probably want to pay two so they can't counter something. And then attack for seven, eight with Fanatical, Firebrand, we have the mana two. And Wizard's Lightning. Okay. Easy win. Get some prizes. Two. Hoping to play against another control deck. That was a lot of fun. Double Inspiring Cleric is really good against Mono Red, but having two of them is kind of annoying if we're playing against anything else. I think we're gonna keep. Okay, we're playing against Mono Red. This Inspiring Cleric is gonna be very good then. Although I don't think Runaway Steam can surviving this game. Uh, this is a lot of mountains. Their runaway steam can survive which is kind of bad because we don't have key to lava run it to make this wizard's lightning cheaper. So they're going to get to go off a little bit, but hopefully inspiring cleric should end it. We're kind of getting mountain flooded though. Ooh, look, our opponent has fancy things. Okay, this isn't too bad. It means they can't activate runaway steamkin for mana this turn that's a good thing wizards lightning oh but we don't have runaway steamkin okay this could be this could be bad wow this is a lot of mountains okay we can't inspiring cleric as much as we want to because we need to get runaway steamkin dead before it goes out of control so we're gonna do some damage make our wizards lightning one mana and then just kill that. We're getting really mountain flooded. I really hope we draw one of our two experimental frenzies because we're gonna need them for going to have enough gas in the tank to win this game because or we need to draw like straight non mountain cards. Risk factor. We will absolutely take four. I don't feel like giving you cards to draw. I think we have to trade off here because we're at a much lower life total. We're playing for the long game. We have Inspiring Clerics and we don't know for sure that they have Experimental Frenzy whereas we do know for sure that we do. Oh, that's a 1-2. That's that's kind of sad. Okay. Player Inspiring Cleric. Undo everything that Risk Factor did. And the 3-2 body is really nice too. And any matchup. A 3-2 for 3 that gains you life is nice. Opponent makes green mana and does nothing with it. Yeah. I don't think they did that intentionally. They probably should have risk factored us. Okay, sweet. Experimental Frenzy. We have a very good chance. We're just going to empty out our hand real quick before we cast Experimental Frenzy. Yeah, I, I like our chance here. We have Experimental Frenzy. And they're a way lower life total, even if they have more cards. We have the mana advantage. We have the... Okay, never mind. Our life total... No, never mind. I can't do math. Their life total is lower. We have the mana advantage. And we're soon to have the card advantage once we have Experimental Frenzy out. 
We're definitely taking four off of risk factor if they cast him. There's no way we're letting them refill their hand for no reason. Okay, let's Wizard's Lightning. We won't get any value off of Experimental Frenzy this turn, but that's okay. What are we drawing next turn? Oh, if they had a counter spell, if they had like the hack of treasures let you play four color, one color decks and they're like splashing experimental frenzy like we were at one point, that would have been nice. Ooh, healing grace. We're getting the all the mon anti mono red cards this game. This is fun. Although we don't really need it right now, so I'm kind of glad we're drawing it. it means that we have access to it if we need it, but we're not being forced to cast it. Okay, they are presumably triggering Spectacle. Or just attacking. I don't think they're going to jump the Gito Lava Runner. I guess there's no reason for them to attack. Light up the stage. Yep, they triggered Spectacle. Oh, yeah, that's a the thing. They have Chain Whirler, which we do not because it's kind of slow and clunky. Although it's really nice against the mid-range decks, just having a 3-3 three, three for a strike. Light up the stage. Yep. Wow, it looks like they have a lower mounting count than us, given that they're still on two mountains. Maybe that's the correct number of mountains to play, because it's going to be sad if we hit multiple mountains here. Okay, Vashino Pyromancer. Come on, run away Steamkin somewhere. Okay, Gita Lava Runner next. Drill Bit. They only have two cards in hand, so it is going to be very good. It's three mana, right? No, we Vishino Pyromancer this turn, okay. So we can... This probably won't be very good, but if we have a one drop on top, we're gonna want to do it. There's no reason not to. Okay, we have Mountain. We haven't played a land this turn. This is good. Hopefully they have something good. Oh, Experimental Frenzy, yeah. None of that nonsense. Wizard's Lightning. Oh, and... Okay, well, they're not dead yet. Oh, Flame of Killed. That card's so good when you have Experimental Frenzy out because you don't care about your hand. Although the drawing cards isn't very good. But the it gets rid of the discard part while also doing lots of extra damage. Okay, they're going to shock our thing now. Sure. And then we attack. The worst is having Experimental Frenzy and Flame of Keld in your hand. Because you can only play one. If you play Flame of Keld, you have to discard Experimental Frenzy. If you play Experimental Frenzy, you can't cast Flame of Keld. Yep, Runaway Steamkin's a good card, but it's kind of late to the party. Oh, okay. Spectacle enabled. Yeah, I think they're they have too many three drops. That's risk factor and. Chain Whirler are both nice cards, but they're... I think we probably should be playing Risk Factor, but I don't agree with Chain Whirler. It's just too expensive. You get your hand clogged up, like, here. No way to play, like, ten spells in a row off of Steam Can. Okay. Kill the Steam Can. Mountain. Mountain, come on, no more mountains. Okay, Fanatical Firebrand. And that scheme, because we know everything that's available to them. Okay. I wanted to see how far we could go on that runaway steamkin, but our opponent scoops it up. Up to a healthy 2-0. Oh, we keep forgetting to change our avatar back to Jace. I will. Ooh, this is so slow. <laughs> um, okay, I think we're going to keep, especially giving our opponents on the play and probably also 2-0, which means they're probably playing mono red. Oh, it's a blue deck, okay. One of the things I didn't talk about in the deck tech is a electrostatic field. We're playing over gutter snipe because gutter snipe is way better at killing the opponent. It's twice as good, in fact for just one more mana, but the problem with it is it dies to shock when mono red's the best deck, you can't be playing two twos that don't give you very immediate value, whereas a zero four blocks, chain whirlers it blocks, smaller steamkins it blocks all sorts of stuff, and 
it doesn't die to shock lightning strike even if it does less damage it still triggers spectacle just as well so here we can Vishino Pyromancer to trigger spectacle but I think we're just going to uh no I like getting the creature out first that way we can start attacking with it these are just as good as the game where I see earlier we play the creature the faster we get to attack with it um yeah let's light up the stage I think one damage to our opponent the one annoying part is actually Vishino Pyromancer shouldn't be able to trigger spectacle Otherwise, we're going to have to start bolting our opponent. Looks like our opponent's playing one of the control decks where they store up treasures and drop a bomb real fast. Hopefully, unless they have a bunch of spell piercers or a bunch of negates, we should just be able to get past that with all this burn. We have 13 points of burn in hand. That plus there's five of them, so that's 18 points of burn. Okay, that's less burn now that they've gotten rid of all our creatures. Light up stage, okay, that should draw us to some more burn. Let's see what light up the stage gives us. Collision Colossus is... Colossus is a really good... Um... It's a really good burn spell, it's 4 damage for 2 mana. The one problem with it is you need treasures and you need a creature. And the most brutal is when you cast this on your creature and they shock it in response. Okay, opponent scoops it up, can't fight the burn. 3-0. Life is good. We still didn't show, change our profile. <sighs> Maybe not changing our profile is good luck. Maybe we'll 5-0 because we didn't play with the Jace profile thing in our mono red deck. I don't know. Okay, this hand is very nice against mono red, although if they're playing mono red, I'm scared for the life of my runaway steamkin. Ooh, are they playing gates? Okay. So, oh, this electrostatic field is so annoying because ideally, oh, never mind, we didn't draw a mountain. Ideally, I'd be wanting to play all three of these in one turn and then minus the runaway steamkin, but the the two instants and sorceries are way better when we have electrostatic down, but it turns out we didn't draw the mountain, so we're just going to play electrostatic, pump the steamkin and get in, and then next turn... We'll start steam kinning off. Yeah, it looks like they're playing gates. This should be good. Yeah, guild summit. Okay. They're playing gates. I don't think gates can keep up with mono red. That being said, if they get if they can ramp to an arcway angel early, that seems like a beating. Okay. Let the nonsense begin. Shocker opponent. Three damage. Uh, skewer our opponent. Four damage. Minus counters on steam can, which we probably should have done after attacking. No, because we have Gita Lava running. Never mind. Resolve, resolve damage, get two more things, um, D2 Lava Runner, Fanatical Firebrand, so they're taking seven if we attack, and then Vashino Pyromancer puts them down to one. Ah well. cards aren't very good against non-mono red decks, but we have the edge in most non-mono red matchups. There are some decks that can beat mono red. I remember we got a bad 
hand at some point. And we just got run over by Vinemere. And we have lost connection after opponent blew up. Well, that's that's just lovely, isn't it? They said, you know what? You're doing too well. We're going to make you lose connection. We can't have people going 4-0, breaking the format with their four-color 15 mountain decks. That's just not allowed. We don't we don't do that. We still haven't changed our profile. This is getting ridiculous. Hey, if we 5-0, I mean. Okay, yeah, this is solid. Turn 1 Steam can hope it doesn't die. Turn 2... Uh, Fanat Vashino Pyromancer of Wizards Lightning. Turn 3 Fanatical 5 Rand minus Runaway Steamkin Flame of Keld. Let the nonsense begin. Okay, they're playing red, which means they're probably holding up Shock. So, here we have to decide do we even want to run out Steamkin yet? I think we do. It's probably going to get Shocked, but if we like hold off and like Vashino Pyromancer instead, they'll Shock us to the face. And then they have the advantage, because they went first. I think I'd rather get a creature down. Yep, shock. Otherwise they shock our face, and they just... Like, if we hold off on Runaway Steamkin until they're tapped out, we're going to have cast half our creatures, and then or half our spells, and then Runaway Steamkin's going to do literal nothing. Mountain. We're getting slightly flooded, but that's okay. Vashino Pyromancer. No counter spell. Come on. No, don't counter it. Okay. Yep, radical idea. That is fine. Looks like we're playing against some sort of blue red deck. Damage to them. I think we're going to Wizards Lightning here. Because if they kill Vashino Pyromancer, this is going to be up to 3 mana. Whereas we can attack with Fanatical Firebrand or we can sack Fan Fanatical Firebrand to make Skewer the Critics cost 1. Wizards, Lightning, we have no other Wizards, so it's it's more likely to be back to 3 mana. Opt, sure. Ooh, fancy Opt. We've seen a lot of people playing with fancy cards. The only fancy card I have is Skewer the Critics because I got it from playing this earlier. I nearly put Charter Course in this deck as card advantage, but decided against it because it's kind of bad with Experimental Frenzy, and it's kind of slow. I also had Spell Pierce in here at one point. Opponents thinking about something on our upkeep. Ooh, Inspiring Cleric. We haven't run into very much Mono Red. I was expecting way more Mono Red. I think we're still going to run out Inspiring Cleric because the extra life is nice and just having a 3-2 we're in a player 3-2 before we Flame of the Keld we'll do Flame of the Keld and Skewer the Critics next turn assuming we don't draw anything really good I'm curious how our opponent gets out of this. I think it starts with a board sweep, but they're also probably going to have to give a counter spell for Flame of the Keld. Although if they board sweep, we can't skewer the critics, which is nice. Okay, shock. Looks like they don't have a board sweep. They got rid of our 3-2, which was for one mana. That's pretty good. And they probably don't care about the extra four life. Oh, light up the stage. That, that is a meatball. Okay. Attack. Come on. Lightning strike, sure. Just let the fanatical fire brand through, that's all we need. Come on. Don't kill it. Oh, we should have sacked the fanatical fire brand. Okay, it gets through. Good. Good. Everything is good. Uh, skewer them. Light up the stage to get it out of our hand. Because we don't draw the cards, we exile them. Flame the Keld will discard nothing. 
and then we'll have a really full tank next turn because we're going to be drawing one card for turn, two off of Flame of the Keld, and then we have Vashino Pyromancer and Mountain here. Okay. They're going to need some pretty impressive life gain. Maybe like the white X card that like gains double X life. That would be kind of brutal. Oh, don't count into this. Come on. Don't count into this. Yeah, I think they have to counter light up the stage. They didn't know this was coming. Oh, sweet. We can play the man in this turn. Radical idea. Yep. This looks like it's... Yeah, okay. Got there! 5-0. Easy game. <clears throat> Get some daily challenges. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that was pretty impressive. We didn't lose a game. Okay, let's get our fancy chemistress insight. And open that pack we got. Ooh, we're getting a rare wild card. Nice. Huh? Yeah, this is already a fairly good pack. Two wild cards. The best common. The best uncommon. These are all pretty bad. That's bad. Oh, and a rare wild card. Oh, that was such a stacked pack. I got the best common possible, the best uncommon possible, and the best rare possible. And I got a rare off of this thingy, whatever it's called. I don't know what it's called. Like the reward for like opening packs and stuff. Okay, that was pretty epic. We 5-0 didn't lose a single game with our four color mono red deck. Drill bit was really nice. We only got it against mono red, which I think is its worst matchup, but it took away their experimental frenzy, so that was great. Inspiring cleric I think we got that against Mono Red, I can't remember. Um, yeah, I think we got both of our Inspiring Clerics and then drew Healing Grace later on against Mono Red. And then when we didn't play against Mono Red, I was expecting to play against Mono Red more, but when we didn't play against Mono Red, a 3 2 beater is still decent. Healing Grace does not a lot of anything against non Mono Red decks, but if we play the Mirror. It could very easily go their game, their way if we stumble, so I think this is a very important card to have in there. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, if you think I misplayed or have your own deck for uh, Treasure Constructed, please let me know in the comments below. And thanks for watching again.